Tropical rainforests have fascinated the humanity ever since the times of Charles Darwin and Alexander von Humboldt. And for very good reasons, because the world's tropical rainforests harbor a very large part of biodiversity. The knowledge about this biodiversity has expanded tremendously in the past two decades. But this knowledge is segmented in a variety of different very technical research topics such as climatology, biodiversity research or land use change. And very few people nowadays have an overview of all the aspects. So what I have tried to do in this book is to provide a comprehensive overview of all the factors, all the science-based material that exists and will determine the future of these tropical forests. Tropical rainforests alone cover about 16 million square kilometers of land. That's an area the size of Russia, the largest country in the world. About half of these tropical rainforests have been lost in the last few decades. And another quarter remains only as degraded or fragmented forests. Today we are at a lower level, but we are still losing every year an area the size of Switzerland or more. The greatest threat to tropical rainforests is conversion for commercial agricultural purposes. Oil palm plantations, cattle ranching and soy plantations are effectively producing foodstuffs for an increasingly uh, urban population of the world, driven very often by the very rapidly increasing consumption of meat all over the world. So we are literally eating up the tropical rainforests of the world. There are of course other factors like the traditional slash and burn farming by smallholders that play still an important role particularly in Africa and in some Southeast Asian countries. But increasingly also mining as well as petroleum exploration and exploitation play an important factor. Logging contributes primarily to the degradation of tropical forests and a very large area is currently under logging operations, about the equivalent of the size of India. Hopes have also been fostered that the tropical rainforests could save humanity in the sense that they could absorb perhaps up to a third of the fossil fuel CO2 emissions that uh, we are producing. As a matter of fact, tropical rainforests are rather a victim of climate change because with increasing drought periods, as we have seen them recently, uh, not least in the Amazon every five years, tropical rainforests may even turn into a CO2 source. So therefore it becomes a very important factor to mitigate climate change if we want to save tropical rainforests. If in fact we would reach the two degree warming threshold by the middle of this century, many of the tropical rainforests would turn into a CO2 source and that would effectively lead to a very dangerous tipping point for humanity. Despite the fact that we still have an area of about 700 million hectares, about the size of Australia, that remain as primary forests, it is of utmost importance that we undertake everything to preserve this area for the future of humanity and the biodiversity on our planet. About half of the Brazilian Amazon is now under protection under some form of protected areas, be that national parks or sustainable use reserves or indigenous territories. But other areas still lag far behind. For this reason, in my book, I'm presenting a number of recommendations and they fall in four main groups. The first one concerns the commercial pressure that we in future must avoid. We should keep food and feed out of the forest. It is simply unsustainable to turn tropical rainforests into cattle ranches and oil palm plantations. The second important 
factor which is linked to many of the other factors is climate change and we must do everything to mitigate climate change if we don't want to expose tropical rainforests to even greater pressure. The third one is still population and in certain areas population increase is a factor particularly in Africa and there we have to see whether new forms of agroforestry could help uh, turn the use of these forest lands into a more sustainable manner. And the fourth point is governance. And governance does not just mean governments. It means the cooperation between multilateral institutions, bilateral organizations, as well as NGOs. It is of utmost importance for the future of the world's biodiversity that we protect the remaining primary rainforests that still exist and do everything to promote reforestation, either by replanting or enrichment planting or just natural regrowth that can build bridges between forest remnants all over the world. I have myself worked as a biologist in tropical rainforests uh, in different continents and worked as a conservationist to try and uh, fix some of the problems of tropical forest conservation. It, it strikes me that there are many myths and fantasies about the importance of tropical rainforests. That was one of my main motivations to provide a pragmatic picture that outlines the future of these important forests.